This lesson is about two-dimensional lists in Python. Two-dimensional lists are very useful, especially in data science and machine learning. If we think from graphical perspective, a 2D list represents a table. From mathematical perspective, it is a matrix. From a programming perspective, it is lists inside another list. So, let's declare a variable named matrix and it is a list. Remember, we create lists using square brackets. Now, 2D lists means lists inside of the list. That means there will be more lists inside of this list. Let's say first inside a list has 1, 2, 3. Then with a comma, we can define another list here. This time we are taking 4, 5, 6. Then again, comma and another list of 7, 8, 9. Okay, that's enough. So this is our 2D list. This is also a matrix. We can consider it as a table too. Let's print it and run the program. On the terminal window, we can see it is actually listing inside of a list. Let's observe our list for a while. If we consider it as a matrix or table, no matter what, this is the first row, this is the second row, and this is the third row. We know programming norms. Index starts from zero, right? So the index of this first row is zero. Index of this second row is one. And the third row is two. Now, rows are not everything we have here. There are columns as well. So this is the first column. An index is zero. Second column is at index one. And the third column is at index two. So, what is the location of this particular value in terms of row and column? It is at row 1 and column 1. However, the indices are 0. This one is at row 3, column 2. But the indices are 2, 1. Let's print matrix at index 0. It means the first row. If we use index 1, it is the second row. And if we use index 2, it is the third row. Instead of rows, if we want to get a specific value, then we have to use two indices. Because the location is defined by both row and column. First one is for row and second one is for column. This 1, 1 is 5. It is here on the matrix. Let's try 0, 2. Here it is, 3. Suppose we want to replace a particular value. It is very easy to do. Type the name of the 2D array, which is matrix in our example. Type index, say 0, 2, and assign a value using assignment operator. I'm assigning 15. Now print this matrix, and we can see 3 has been replaced by 15. Do you remember the nested for loop? We can use this nested for loop to access the elements of 2D array one by one. Let me show you how to do it. First a for loop, for row, in matrix, then colon. Now the nested for loop, for item in row, colon, and finally print the item. Run it. 
and we can see each item of 2D list on the terminal window. Here, this for loop reads a row at a time from the matrix. Then this for loop iterates through row and stores each item in every iteration in the item variable. And in every iteration, we are printing it. So that's how we have got each individual element in new lines. That's all for this lesson. Let's go to the next lesson.